It is time, once again, for more Let's Play Alundra! So we're supposed to be heading toward Nava, and he wants us, for some reason, to talk to us. I don't know, he's some old guy, apparently. Whatever, that's fine. I have time in my busy schedule to just talk to random old people who want to talk to me, that's fine. Just trying to, you know, save the world. Hey, Maya! Okay, that's, uh, great. Alrighty then. Hi, Nava! No, actually. No, I, I actually didn't know, really. Alright, that's great, giants. Okay. Huh? Spring bean? The most curious things in the land is a spring bean? Well, what he says is true. We now have the spring bean. And what we want to do now that we have this is we want to look for these little platforms. Pick up the spring bean, throw it on it. And then you can jump really high. And gain access to things like gilded falcons. It's a, it's an odd little tool. In all honesty, using it in this game doesn't come around too frequently other than, you know, the next dungeon basically because it's like, hey, you just got a new item. You should go around and use it and run into turtles. That last part's actually optional, running into turtles. And we might as well get this while we're here. Strength tonic that I had used up. And I'm just gonna run into that rock, it's great. There's the coastal cave, and what we came here for, another use of the spring bean. In order to get us another gilded falcon. We have a lot of gilded falcons that we can obtain right around now. Seeing as now we have the spring bean, and we also got the power glove, which I have yet to use or explain, but in a few moments we will be using the, the power glove. All in due time. Right now we want to head over here, and that means we need to destroy that. There we go. So, turtles, they suck. I hate you, turtle. I'm going, I hate you so much that I'm going to miss. To miss. Okay. Anyways, power glove. What does the power glove do? When you see things like this, you can pick it up and throw it out of the way. That's what the power glove does. That's pretty much it. The power glove is one of those items that we're not really going to be using that much. And you don't need to equip it to use it, so that's fine. Also, that was a gilded falcon, by the way. But yeah, you don't need to equip the power glove, so that's kind of nice. Now we're going to need to jump in the water. We have more things to obtain. And see that place right over there, to the right? We're going to be heading there very shortly. We will probably be doing that dungeon within this video. That's not Nairud's place, not the place that Nava was telling us to go, but it's a different place with items we will like to have for the future. We're gonna swim right here on these docks. So we can head in a direction to head into that area. That's a tree, it's evil. Evil tree! No, why? Why have the forests forsaken me? Nature itself has turned against Alundra and his journey to prevent nightmares and, and stuff. And also that ball of fire is alive. It's pretty amazing, I think. You can see there are fish in this circle and we could kill those fish and get an item, but it's a waste of time and it's not a good item. 
It's like a, a strength elixir or something like that. I don't know. We can head in there, but that's a big giant waste of time too. It's just a bunch of enemies. No real sense in going in there. There are treasure chest enemies, which do tend to drop a lot of gilder, but since we kind of have a lot of gilder already, not really, uh, not really a thing to be concerned about at this point. And we have this area where I'm going to get hit by a bunch of spike balls. It's always fun. I like those areas in this game. And now we have two platforms here. One of them moving very, very painfully slow, and the other moving at a nice speed of pretty quick. And now we have a bunch of blocks in our way just for no reason, just to be in our way. That's that's very nice game, thanks. I definitely appreciate that. Do I need to make the transition? And... Actually, no, I'm going to go this way first. Avoiding all these blue things. Because in this chest, we have a magic elixir, which I had used up in uh, uh, the previous boss fight, I think. I've been going to avoid combat where I can. And once again, it's time to use the spring bean. To launch us right up here. And now that we have gone through all of these crazy caves, that will bring us to... The Fire Manor. Here we are in the Fire Manor. He that does not fear the flame. Hmm. That flame doesn't look so tough. Just a little ball of fire. So, what we need to do here is hit the flame and knock it into the torches. Which is not too difficult, but at the same time, not that easy. The flame has a tendency to have very odd physics, and sometimes it'll fly around like crazy in a direction that you don't want it to at all, and it becomes kind of crazy. Like, see there, what did it even bounce off of? Come back! <laughs> Get in a position where I can hit you into the blast torch there. Oh, where are you going now? No, why did you bounce off in that direction? God, stupid fire! Get over here. No, why? Okay, go down. No, no. Bad. Bad flame. No. You go down there and get hit by that other torch. No, okay, come back. Come back now. You can do it. No. Flame, come on. Okay, go in that direction. No, you were supposed to bounce down. Why did you bounce up? That's the opposite direction. Yay, there we go. Okay, it didn't need me. Whatever. That was horrible. Hey, it's a statue of a dragon. Hi. Yeah, sure, I guess. Let's play. Okay. Everyone keeps saying let's play. Why? <coughs> So now we're locked in. That's that's great. So this first puzzle is just exactly like the last one, except much easier. It's again just knocking the flame into the four torches. Why can you go through the torches, but I can't? Okay, there we go. Yeah. However, now we have a second a second puzzle for us. What we have to do here is follow the flame. And we cannot walk on the ones on the uh, squares that he does not walk on, or she. It could be a girl flame. Who knows? Who knows? I don't. I don't know the genders of of the elements. I, who knows? But this puzzle is very easy. It's just kind of tedious to a certain extent. Walking around, following the flame as it goes around, and there already. We have proven our mastery of the flame by hitting it with a sword and following it around. And that gets us a new weapon. The fire wand. 
The fire wand's a nice little weapon. It's not very practical in most situations. At certain times, obviously, it's, it can be helpful, but mostly it's used for burning down um, thorn bushes without actually needing torches. We can also charge it up and unleash a bigger flame, which isn't really all that useful. Not as useful as you might think. Next time on Let's Play Alundra with our newly found Fire Wand, we will continue exploring things and obtaining Gilded Falcons and maybe heading somewhere else and getting some new items. I'm Vega, I'll see you then.